Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up webhook inside Native Forms. So, Native Form is an amazing platform that allows users to create and manage forms that can be embedded in various applications and websites for generating leads, for capturing response from your customers, taking customer feedbacks, all right, and even for event management. It has a user-friendly interface and it also contains drag and drop feature, which makes it easier for use. All right, so here I'm going to show you step by step that how you can set up a connection between native forms and public connect with the help of webhook so that you can transfer the data from native form to any other application automatically now webhook acts as a bridge for setting up connections between different applications and for transferring the data from one application towards another whenever a specific event happens that too automatically so here before moving forward and setting a webhook inside native forms on my screen you can see that there are two windows trigger and action now what are trigger and actions trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs. The trigger here says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now let's suppose here because I want to set up connection between native forms and public connect with webhook in trigger. So here I'm going to take native forms in trigger and let's suppose I want to capture the response which is being submitted in native forms in my Google Sheets. So here I'm going to add Google Sheets in my action step. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the form is submitted in native forms, then only the details will be added in Google Sheets, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger in action, let us start setting up the connection over here between native forms and public connect with the help of webhook. So let's move towards our trigger step here. Our trigger application will be native forms. So let's select that. And now we have to select the trigger event. Now trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or basically it is going to start. You can see here we have two options form opened and form completed. So on the happening of whichever specific event you want to capture the response in public connect, you can select that event. I want that whenever the form will be completed by a user that when a form is submitted, then, then I want the response. So here form completed will be my trigger event. As I've selected that I have received a webhook URL and here are some instructions. So we have to follow these instructions step by step for setting up the connection and the webhook URL is going to act as a bridge. It is going to transfer the data from native forms towards public connect whenever a form will be submitted. So let's copy this URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to. So you need to log into your native forms account first of all. This is my account. After coming over here, you have to select the form which you want to connect. So here I'm going to select the form. Let's say this is my form which I want to connect. After selecting your form, you will see the option of edit form. So let's go over there. After coming on setting, after coming on edit option, when you will scroll down from left side, you will see the option of webhook configuration. You have to select that and now you have to click on new webhook button. As you have done that here, it is asking us for the webhook URL. So let's simply paste the URL and then we have to select the pick event that on the happening of which event you want to receive the response over here in this webhook URL. So here our event will be form completed. Now let's click on create webhook. And you can see that our webhook is successfully added. Let's move back towards public connect. It is showing waiting for webhook response. This means that now we have to do a test submission. How we are going to do that? We have to open the form which we have recently connected and then we have to submit that form so that the response of that form could be captured over here in public connect. So this is the form which I have connected. I have opened the form and now I'm going to enter the details in this form to submit it. And because this is just a test submission just to capture the response, therefore I'm going to enter all the dummy details. Let's start with the name. Let's say the name of the person who is submitting this form is smart user and let's say the email of this person is smart user 390 at the rate publicutes.com. This is a lead form. So here I have created the form for generating the leads. Now the phone number of this lead is let's say all right. So when the form will be submitted by a new lead, then immediately because we have set up the connection with this form and public connect. So immediately we will be receiving the response of that lead and along with all the details. So we can add these details in any other application then automatically. For example, here I'm going to add the details in Google Sheets or we can also transfer the details of these leads to our team members to our sales representative team members, to our sales team, to our team members, let's, let's say marketing and sales team on Google chat, Discord or Slack channel. Now, the next question is how often would you like to receive email from us? So here I'm going to enter twice a week, let's say. Let's submit the form and the form is submitted successfully. So let's go back towards Public Connect to check whether we have received the response of this form or not. 
and here you can see that the response is received this is the type of wind that we have selected the form completed all right here is the timestamp that on which date and at what time the form is submitted this is the idea of the person who has created this form all right and these are all the details which we have received so these are all the answers of the questions which were there in the form this is the email address of the person who is submitting this form and this is the name along with this we have also received some other details so this means that our connection is absolutely successful now once you will set up this connection successfully whenever the form which you have connected over here will be submitted by a new lead immediately you will be receiving the response of that lead with all the details after completing the setup you can add action steps according to the requirements of your business and then you can transfer the details of this form submission to any other application and that too automatically so these were the steps which we have to follow in order to set up connection between native forms and public connect with the help of webhook i hope this video was helpful for you and it is clear to you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com at if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations